Oh man, I'm sorry. I blew it. I missed the rant yesterday. I like set a alarm and everything, but it happened on Interstellar and I got carried away in that movie. Um, hey guys, how was your Thanksgiving? <laughs> so I'm recovering still. I'm supposed to start work Monday. But obviously I'm feeling better. I got my lashes on for Thanksgiving. Um, um, but I'm really proud of myself about how I've been handling um, my food. I've been allowing myself to have treats and like splurge a little. You know, it's the holidays and um, I'm going to lose weight regardless because... I'm not lifting right now, so, oops, sorry, let me just see if I can put you down, there we go. I got a haircut on Monday, refresh, so good. This is what, a week, five days later, see what working out can do for your hair. But, um, and some dry shampoo, but, Rami, come here. Oh. Anyways, um, focus. <laughs> we call it a focus box. So yeah, I'm just proud of myself because I've given myself like I'm. It's it's just I'm gonna lose weight because I'm not lifting and um, I've lowered my calories a lot. Like the app I use allows me here. <laughs> like these little puff. Um, it allows me to choose like how much I'm working out, and since I'm not moving much, I put it, like, super low. Um, but I brought my scale to Thanksgiving. To be honest, I didn't weigh my turkey um, the second day, but see all that salt? Like, that's just right away. Shows up in your face when you're 37. But um, on Wednesday, I weighed my... Um, turkey. I don't know why I didn't the other days. So it was just like, but I brought my own Brussels sprouts and butternut squash. I make this thing every year. I usually make it with pepitas and dried cranberries, but this year I did almonds. Um, it's good. But I make it every year um, and bring it as a dish, but this time I just made it for myself. It's my Thanksgiving tradition. And I grabbed a bunch of sweets. Um, and brought those, so, you know, I didn't feel left out, even though no one really seemed that much into the pumpkin pie, but, yeah, so, successful Thanksgiving, proud of myself for being lenient and kind to myself, like, forgiving myself, like, yo, it's a holiday, like, back in the day, you see four fucking, what, oh my god, I love those Hawaiian rolls, like, I can't even touch one, it'll, they're so good, but um, that's 400 calories, you know what I mean? So it's just like, have some grace and forgiveness and acceptance for yourself. So yeah, I had a good session. I think I talked about that last, oh no, I couldn't have been because I had it was after. Um, I had a good session with my therapist where, um, you know, I'm just realizing more and more that I'm a food addict and by weighing everything, I'm just training myself to learn what normal portions look like. So when I did decide to cheat, like I said, I know like it wasn't crazy. and I can just relieve the guilt and be like, dude, for a holiday, you did fucking kill her. Um, what else? So you wanna see the girls? They're small. I can't even believe it. <clears throat> They're so tiny. I mean, you guys, it's wild. It is wild. Having big boobs my whole life, it's pretty exciting. Um, and they're going to be beautiful. They're going to have a nice cleavage and still be sexy, but be small and comfortable and athletic. 
so I'm happy about that. I got my drains out the day before Thanksgiving. The drains were like, ugh. they're still a little tight. Like she said, I could sleep on my side, but it kind of like hurts a little bit, but I've been doing it. Um, two more weeks till I can work out. I did pull my back out the Monday before surgery, um, which was really intense, like really insane. Um, timing you know and I feel for people that live with chronic back pain I'm grateful um, I've made up my mind it's gonna go away um it will um I think once I can start taking ibuprofen again that'll be really helpful but um yeah it's a good timing I guess so two more, two more weeks no heart rate up and supposedly you're supposed to be able to just like do push-ups again I'm like that's crazy um, the f I mean, I've just been home, you know, chilling. I love doing hair, but it's crazy. Like once the working out and hair starts, it's like just the time goes. And I feel like my content is so much better. We've been making such killer TikTok content, Pat and I working as a team. And, um, you know, it's nice. It reminded me of quarantine. We all started, there's something about us just like hanging out together and doing that. Who knows, one day we might just be those people that do nothing but make content. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be hard to just never do hair again. I can't see that for me. But I told myself last night that it was important for me to eat on plan today for my mental, um, back to the food, for my mental, um, Hi. you're such a dick, you never let me touch you. Come here. Just for like, to show myself like, you, like you're not slipping in old habits, like you can. And like, okay, you had two days of fun. So like today be good, you know? <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to eat to plan. Um, I don't know. A little update. Not the best of the rant. No deep thoughts. I will say, um, you know, I've been smoking again. And um, I've been trying to keep it mellow. <laughs> not get to the point where I have to smoke between everything and be super high. I like that, like, right before. I had a friend over, and she, a couple of my friends, they like to, like, smoke the entire joint and just get ripped. Uh, it's not me. I like to, like, get high and do shit, you know? Still be able to be a functioning person, so... Anyways, I hope you guys had a nice turkey day. Um, I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx with my mom and my brother's new girlfriend, who's awesome. My brother has been married twice. He has two girls from different uh, marriages. And, um, you know, he, he just, all he's ever wanted is a family and he rushed into those relationships and we were like, no, please don't. And he did, and he was wrong. <laughs> so um, he brought this new girl home who's like fucking awesome. You can just tell right away. And we're happy for him and it's great so anyways i want to dj max with her um it's so cool that he has like a normal person that just fits right into the family i'm happy for him his life's you know he fought for the custody of his daughter not very many dads win um and um you know we have really good schools out here compared to where her mom lives and it's just a better situation for her um my parents <laughs> So he had to live with my parents um, in order to pay for that, that those lawyers, and it's just cool. He, he did make a sacrifice. It was just, it's been hard on my parents. So it's nice that there's a light now um, that is his new girlfriend. And I need to go eat and get dressed to get ready. Um, thanks for sticking around, subscribing, listening to my rants, and I apologize that it's Fry. So today's a, a fry rant. <laughs>
Oh no, we can't change it. <laughs> so I've only missed one, and that was when I got murdered in our movie. I wasn't allowed to post. But, uh, love you guys.